Hello, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be walking through how to spend three extra skill points thanks to the level 53 update. Uh, we're going to be walking through how to spend those extra three skill points on various different flak builds. So um, the first one will be a rack attack all around a flak that you can use. With any of the action skills, it's the one that I uploaded a few weeks back. So uh, we'll be putting those three points into Barbaric Kiop and Pack Tactics. And this is because well, this just gives us the most damage. We get a bit of damage from Barbaric Yup and then a chunk of damage from Pack Tactics, which is very, very nice. Um, I opted for this over finishing off Furious Attack because in the end, one Pack Tactics and two Yop ended up being a little bit better than one Furious Attack and two Yop, even with the uh, even with the Stalker. So that's the new build there. So here I am on a dedicated fadeaway build. So this is uh, a build purely for fadeaway use. So it's the normal, uh, same as before, Megavore, Head Count, Hidden Machine, Fast and Furious, Unblinking Eye and whatnot. And then for the final three points, we're gonna just grab Persistence Hunter. This is a little bit of extra action skill duration, doesn't mean so, so much, uh, but the extra gun damage is very nice as well, 12% there, so a nice little boost in damage. Now we're on to the dedicated Gamma Burst build. So this is going to be a build where you only use Gamma Burst. Now, uh, so normally I would run this kind of setup here. Again, a Mega Vorehead count. The combo is just way too good. And then damage to get us down the tree. And then uh, Blue Tree, Persistence Hunter, Frenzy, one in Heat Bites. Uh, and then two in Pack Tactics. And then for the final three points, um, well, guess what? We're going to do damage. So we're going to round out Pack Tactics, and then we're going to grab some Furious Attack, because why not? And uh, the reason why we focus more Pack Tactics and not and uh, not Furious Attacks on this build, but not the other one, is because in this build we run... Hang on, wrong save file. Uh, I'd run a Red Fang, Red Fang. And not a Cosmic Stalker. And that just wraps it up from there. You uh, you don't need pet tank on a Gamma Burst build because the Gamma Burst is keeping the pet alive anyway. So that's why we uh, do it this way. So I hope this video helped. And if you, of course, are running a different build, same rules apply as the Amara video. Just grab damage where you can. Uh, the way BL2 scaled is the higher the level, the more difficult it got. This game is very similar, so we need to um, we need to invest in damage just to keep up. And of course it helps, since most of our gear is still level 50. Uh, I'm still rocking 50k Stagecoach, Brainstormer, and whatnots on, uh, on my setup, so... We need the damage. And, uh, well, fuck was very simple. You got extra damage on pretty much all of the builds. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.